I drank this energy drink. Now I got way too much energy. Hey, them hoes the truth, though. Now I don't want to stop moving this chair. Hey, man. It's over there. I had two of them on the way down here. Nigga, I had to stop after the first one. <laughs> yeah, that, that first, that, that hoe hit different. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about 50 right now. That right there, that's... that's Hey, that nigga, nah, I drink that, nice, nigga. That, that, that nigga, that nigga, cap, that nigga cap, that nigga cap. He said that's your last interview. I'm trying to quit the hoe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that nigga cap. <laughs> Just thought about that shit. That nigga told us, he said right before we started, man, I gotta stop drinking them hoes. <laughs> like I, I tried that red line shit before, you know. What I don't know what that is. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that yeah. shit. Yeah. Those work, you those work for me. Drink half that hoe at first, nigga. <laughs> I, I damn near drank the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And my heart was. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, that, you nigga, gotta I'm be a, active. I'm, though. I'm driving the <laughs> truck, my nigga. I'm you driving the truck. You sitting still? You just sitting like. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, you pulled it over like. Nigga, just start getting a ping pong. Never again, <laughs> never again. You driving down the road with a shake weight and shit. Hey, yo, what's going down? I'm OD, and you watching the Slum Session Network, man. We here with Tracy, Tracy Love, right? Tracy, yes, Big Tracy? Yeah, yeah Big, Big Tracy. Tra Big Tracy. Yeah, Tracy. Yeah, <laughs> Big Tracy, a.k.a. Blue Flames Hughes, the, the, the artist formerly known as Blue Flames Hughes. You yes, know. sir. Yes, hey, sir. we, and who do we got over here, man? We got Jotty, young Jotty. Jotty, Jotty in, in the mix. mix. Hey, jo Jotty in the mix. You got to <laughs> let him know. This guy over here, the engineer, we got the artist. You know, we had to come back with Blue Flames Part 2 because he has a new album on the way. Yes, sir. They hey, do. let's get it. Let's go right now. Slump Sessions. Let's roll it, go. Roll it up. Roll it up. Let it up. Roll it up. Roll it up. Let's roll it up. 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 Talk about it. Be about it. Take another shot. All right, man. You know, you last time you came, we were in a different spot. Now, we have a new... Whole new setup. I got the the push buttons to drop the 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 intro and everything. Oh shit! You know. Yeah, oh oh oh, oh we got. This You know right. we have to do it. We have to try to elevate a little bit. That last last spot was uh was too too uptight. Yeah. I wanted I wanted to be able. <laughs> it was. It was. People be complaining and shit that we we too loud. I can't do that. I want a spot where I'm able to chill. Turn up. Look right, at this. Right. I couldn't lay down at my last spot. <laughs> I, I could take a nap right now and have y'all do the interview on if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because we got to talk about Sincerely Tracy. Yes, sir. Hey. hey. Okay, man. We got to know when is it dropping because you have not released the, the date yet. Okay, look. So Gentlemen. it was supposed to actually drop today. Today? Hey. Yeah. But the thing was, with all the events that happened in the world, <laughs> <laughs> with it snowing in Texas and shit, that and was all wild. these fucking weird events of chain of events with COVID and bullshit like that, Facts. I had to push this bitch back a little bit. So date is to be determined. I, okay, I okay, want to drop okay. this bitch like to ASAP, yeah. but the rollout has to be correct, you know, because I don't want to put it out on the bullshit and then be like, oh. Well, you could have did better if you would have just waited a little bit. And that's what a lot, <laughs> a lot of artists don't respect the rollout. Nah, that's, that's, I, I learned that too because I dropped Lit Season and I feel like that's probably one of my best bodies of work when it comes to like as far as just making a song. Yeah. But I didn't have a rollout. I just dropped that whole and it was like, I just woke up one day. I was like, oh yeah, it's going to drop next week. And niggas was like, oh, okay, cool. Ten niggas. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no rollout. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so you, you're actually trying to go about it a whole different... Yeah, like I'm trying to be like on some artistic shit, so like making press run stops, like I got this, like with y'all. Yeah. And then I got to do one with 91.1. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to do... Uh, I got a video coming out. So yeah. I want to drop videos before. I want to have like a rollout, official. Like, so people be like, damn, the music coming. I see it. And you that see way, it. You can't yeah. miss it. Like if That way, after <laughs> it drops, you know, you have content to be able to, you know, keep promoting and... and and uh, being able to push it, not just like, hey, check out the, the album that just came out. Now you got stuff that you're able to actually show people. Nowadays, everything is so visual that you can tell people that you dropping something and they won't even care if they, they don't got nothing with it. Exactly. They're like yeah. you, you can say, oh, man, I'm about to drop a, a EP tomorrow. But do it have videos with it, though? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. You don't have no videos with it. And it's just like, well, okay, well. I'll, I'll listen to the first, yeah. and you'll see your metrics when you get it back too. I learned that too. Like, I know the length of my album is, is definitely gonna probably rub people the wrong way, certain people. But I made it for a demographic. Let's people. get into it. So, so yeah. it was at eighteen tracks. I just want to say thank you for 
Yeah. Their, their mic is like blocking his whole face. Oh, okay. Then. Oh, my. This way. Come. No, the other one. This one. Mine. Oh, that one? Yeah, you Sit. can do the same thing. That's better? Okay, we good. Yep. All right, we'll just get back into it. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll just cut it right there. Um, The the, tr- the album is what, 18 tracks? 19? Yeah. 19. 18. 18. 18. Yeah. Which yeah. a lot of people don't have 18-track yeah. albums anymore. That's, 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 I thought about facts. that. I thought about that. And, I, and at first I thought that was facts too. But that's not facts. Because I looked at a lot of artists that I like, or like, I looked like, up like to. who, Drake. Drake just dropped three songs. That's that's the EP though, and what he do? He dropped them three songs, and then every album he has has fourteen to eighteen songs on it. Let's see. <laughs> that's that's a fact. Let, let, let's uh. Take care has fifteen songs. If you read it too late, has like twenty songs on. But take care was how long ago? <laughs> you right, and I just net his recent project. He had a playlist, twenty three songs on it. That was annoying. <laughs> like every. Hey. Man, man. Care, pa- Care Package did have 17 that's songs. That's like, that's throwaways. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's 17 songs. So, like, let's we'll see who else. Uh, Cole, f- at least 14 to 15, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, you, you're that's, right, that's, though. Yeah. I was like, the people who actually make music with substance in it have lengthier projects. Whereas, okay, say, uh, even a Uzi, his at last album was long. Like, and he don't even really rap about much. Yeah. Like, like yeah, like, a lot of artists making longer. For different purposes, though, and I, I think <laughs> I think now that I'm thinking about it, it, it kind of is straying, I guess, back towards that because for like a year or two, we had the whole era of pumps and uh ski masks and everything that were coming out with five, six, five, songs. six songs, <laughs> and they're putting that out. And then, but like you said, the, the people who are actually at the top, they're still doing it because I feel like in a, in hindsight or in the moment, it seemed like a lot of music. And people will say, oh, man, you shouldn't do that. Like, I got a homie right now. Shout out to my boy, Seth. He told me, man, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I'm just like, I'm going to take it step by step, which is cool. I said, take your time. Listen to it. It's a lot of music to digest. I yeah. get that. And he would just say to me, oh, yeah, the song should be a little shorter and like two minutes max. And I'm like, I'm not making fast food music. <laughs> like, that's what y'all into. Yeah. Which is yeah. cool. He makes cool music. He's a good rapper, but. If it's the same what, set what, that, what, that, that I know, yeah, then... Yeah, you know him. Yeah, okay, then, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, shout out to yeah, Seth. Yeah, shout out to Seth. He, good rapper, but me and him, paths are different. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. My demographic yeah. is going to be way different than his. And and not every artist is yeah, going to be that same. not like. going to take that, blue, that blueprint of that route, because he told me, oh, yeah, well, I feel like you should make the songs two minutes long, or you should make the you should make the album, like, ten songs. I said, my next projects are going to be no more than ten. Yeah. I, be moving mm-hmm. forward because I got my I got my shit off. I got my story off and my storylines off. I don't need to do that no more. Whereas if I did make a body work, it's going to be cohesive. One song, it could be, where there's five songs, ten songs, eighteen songs, I'm trying to make it flow together. They got people who make s- ten songs and it's all a hit, it's attempts to make hits. Yeah. That don't make it a good album. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. just because it's short. It's no cohesion to that shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was like. And uh, the whole, I mean, the whole process, like process to you putting this song is is you telling your story, and pretty much painting a picture for uh, for everybody. And if it takes eighteen songs to do, yeah, then that's what you got to do to get that out. I said, I just want people to understand when they do see it, don't be intimidated by eighteen songs. Mm-hmm. Everything is gonna give you something. Why I put it on there? It's a reason why I put it on there. It's songs that did not make the cut. Yeah. For specific reasons, and I had to replace those. So I could have said, "Oh well, these three songs didn't make it." No, they needed th- they needed to be fed this part of the thing, so you don't have a hole and you don't feel like, "Oh well, he talked about this over here, but I didn't get any feedback over here about this." Well, yeah, you can't say that. Everything is well around that you gonna get a, a aspect of every part of my life and where I was at in that moment. So it's it strings together, and it's not a gap. Yeah. So you don't get, get confused or like, "Oh well." I heard it, but you can't say if you heard the album, you can't say, "Oh, I didn't know this." And a lot, <laughs> a, a lot of artists will put bits and pieces of their life in, into to tracks and stuff. But the way you you did it, I mean, you put it continuously to one kind of leads into the next, kind of yeah. leads into the next, and then it's telling a whole story with it. Not not like uh, people listening to it trying to pick out, "Oh, this happened to him. This happened to him." You know, throughout just random songs. Like like a good kid, Mad City, yeah. like type like vibe. Okay, yeah, he it's like 
a weekend that he just going over in the whole <laughs> album. Like it's like twenty songs. Like, yeah, <laughs> he just talking like it's like skits and rolling through. That's what I molded and thought about when making this. So oh well, I don't have to. This tape not for people who want a hit. I didn't chase a hit. They yeah. got hits on there. People probably gonna say, oh, this is a. I, I would listen to this every day. That's. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's know? nice. Bro. But I didn't search for that. That's not what I was going for. I was going for. You're not trying to. I got to get my shit off. Yeah, you're not trying <laughs> to make uh like newer like pop music. You ain't trying to be yeah. tur- turning up. You got a story to tell. I just had to be chill and and find myself. This will help me find myself and moving forward when I do make these projects where I'm like, oh well, hey Jody man, let's go make monkey business. That's a project we are gonna do. That's. That top, that's like that some, that's that's some, that's some <laughs> shit that people gonna see that and, and be man. They creative, whereas this century of Tracy was not that creative. I put stuff in it to make it transition smoothly and stuff, yeah. but it wasn't like my creative side. You can even ask him. I didn't really go crazy on the production. I let my I let him lead the way. Mm. I was like, I was like, first of all, first of all, don't let this man lie to you. Hey. <laughs> don't, hey. let this, don't let this man lie to you. Don't I let, argue don't with him. Let this man I argue with him. Don't but at the end of the day, I let you. I ended up letting you say, okay, this no, this is why. Man. This is why. This man, this why. This man sent me essays, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about a fam, but, but, go ahead and up the dubs on this. You know what I'm saying? Lower it, throw some reverb right here. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Hey, talk that here's, shit. Talk here's that his shit. Favorite one, his favorite one, a, and also throw a noise gate on that hoe. Like, <laughs> bam, like a noise gate. Like every time it was like reverb, delays, dubs. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, fam, I got you, and I'll just slightly do it. Yeah, yeah, bro, that's good. That's good right there. All right, for sure. <laughs> cause I, cause look, like, he's saying all that shit, but after the end, he tell me I'm saying as in pushback, which he gave me pushback. He would say, I did. he would say, from my own point of view. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's been a big summer. <laughs> hey. From from my perspective, I hey. feel like this, this, and this. I feel like you shouldn't have more delay on this song, or you shouldn't have much reverb on this song. The intro, the first track, for example. He said, he said, I don't feel like you have much reverb on this one because the way the beat set up and the way it's gonna make it sound a little bit weird in the background, it's gonna sound hella spacey. Yeah. And I was like, oh. I sat there and listened to her for like 30 minutes and responded back. All right. I'm like, oh, you right. <laughs> I mean, but I see, like, in hindsight, if I didn't l- listen to that, he said, yeah. I could have been like, nah, fuck all that shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Run like, that yeah, shit. <laughs> about, it's all about quality. It's all about quality. Yeah. You know what I'm if, I, if I'm engineering your song, it ain't just to make money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm building a relationship here. You know, we bonding as, you know, artists and, you know, engineer. And it's like I'm, I'm all about quality. I want you to. I want to. I, if I'm doing this, I'm doing it for myself. You feel me? Like I would treat it as it's my own song. And I'm gonna tell you straight up, like this man know, like dog, don't you move from behind that microphone until I say I'm done. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Not when you done. Like oh oh, the, you lost breath right here. Hey, cut that. We are gonna do it again. You know what I'm saying? Dead ass. I, 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 that's fact. That <laughs> that's a a good dynamic to have whenever you're recording. You need somebody like that. That's gonna be able to. To pick the best out of you and and push it more. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I have I have you know pulled some whole stuff on him. I, I, he came to, he did a whole verse, and I was like, Bo, it back, and I said, piss hey, me I off, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, got it. That, that ain't it. Look, I, I I got in the car. I said, babe, this nigga Jody a hoe, bro. <laughs> This nigga, this nigga let me rap this whole verse out. I bust out laughing. I was like, this nigga, I don't lie. I was like, going hard. Was, in my mind, I'm like, I ain't that He's bitch, bro. Killing it. <laughs> and like, look, I was, I second guessed it too. Like, you know how you fuck up on a, you rapping, and you fuck up on a verse like the first three bars, and you get to like bar 11. And you like, you stop at it, it's bar 11, you're like, I think I might have fucked up at bar three. And then my homeboy in the back, Taco, talking about, Man, that was hard. I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I was like, we got a good st- stopping point, Jody. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you, my boy. That wasn't it. Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and run that back. First bar, I wasn't fucking with it. Like, <laughs> when you came in, I'm not fucking. He's like, I didn't even like the energy. How you came in on that one? We gonna redo that whole shit. Matter of fact, stop at bar like six or eight. <laughs> I was like, all right. But how how did y'all actually link up and how did y'all meet, man? Bro. It was- Yeah, San Antonio, uh, Jack's Bar. Hell yeah, show. we had a show out there, and uh, he, he 
came up to me right off the top. He's like, hey, thanks. You, you make music too? I was like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he coming at me, you know? Because that quest is, you know, yeah. I'm quiet. He told me, like, I don't say much. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, bro. He's like, oh, yeah, what's, what's up? What you go by? I was like, young Jotty. He was like, okay, cool. I'm Blue Flame. You tell me, whoop, whoop. Look like, that nigga people. up and shit. <laughs> look, look me up, bro. Hey, hey, no cap. When the show started, he was the first person in, at the front of the stage. I ain't gonna lie. Show love. Feel me? So it just started running off of that. He's like, man, I feel with your style, bro. He sent me a song that never got dropped. <laughs> we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but, but, so y'all met at a show. Yeah, we just kept it. And I, at that time, were you engineering or were you just I straight was, rapping? I was straight rapping. I mean, I, I was recording the homies and whatnot, but like I was straight rapping. Like I think it was like a little bit like a year after that that I, I started going, uh, working at, uh, interning at Glue Studios. Shout out to Glue Studios, Dev and all them out there. Um, I started interning there and I started learning more, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, my cousin, he's actually an engineer. He's a producer. He produced uh, Trail Niggas Don't Die. You know okay. Uh, young Fingers. Super hard. Young Fingers, you feel me? So I was always around that shit, you feel me? So I'm like, I wanted to do that, you feel me? So I picked that shit up, man, and started running with it. You know what I mean? Okay. I wanted to go further into it because I'm like, you know, at some point I started looking at my team. I'm like, bro, all of us is rapping. <laughs> we we need of, yeah a whole lot of cheese not enough Indians you feel me like let me let me sit down everybody comes to me record anyway so I'm like let me just go ahead and like further my knowledge you feel me because I ain't yeah. going to school for this shit everything's trial and error you feel me it ta- it takes a an ear to be an engineer hell it, yeah I mean even being a rapper but it takes like it's a talent in itself to be an engineer a lot of people right. don't you're not just the the guy who pushes the button to record right. like you like like you're all talking about man you you push him. And you're gonna be the one to be able to like, ah, that ain't it. <laughs> Hell that, yeah, that yeah. ain't it. Like, yeah, we we need to redo that one because you know you kind of slipped up a little bit. Yeah. And, and I, I look, I be, I be, I used to be capping like shit. I be like having a verse ready, and I be like, all right, look. So I already know he about to say shit because he gonna be like, you overcomplicate this shit. <laughs> so I gotta get my shit off. I'm like, like the last song, like number 18. I mean, no, number 16. I literally was just like, man, look. So I cut this one part of the song. He was like, but why? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, because I don't like that. Mm-hmm. And he's, just, he's just, well, let me hear it. And I was like, well, I haven't finished writing that bitch yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because I don't want to finish. And my mom, like, I want to finish writing this hoe if he feel like it's not going to be oh, yeah. good to fit on the hell. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, let me see what he say. So I come in there. and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that out. He was like, man, I think you should leave it how it is. It sounds tough <laughs> like this. And I was like, man, just, just listen to it. So he was like, okay, pl- play it. I was like, well, I ain't got it finished yet. So I was, I'm up here writing it as he planned it. So he's like, he wants to go smoke outside, came back. I was like, it's something like, it's some mid shit. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's just, I wanted to rap instead of talk. Then I'm up here and start going all hard. I finished the verse. He was just like, Fucking liar, bro. <laughs> about, it's some mid, I was like, bro. that's some light, some light shit, bro. You know, it's some, it's a little run. I'm just gonna talk my shit a little bit. Just pay. that shit went from like here to like here to here to here to here to into the hook, and I was just like, that's what I wanted though. Yeah, because I, my mom's like, man, it just end too like. You wanted to end on a high <laughs> note, and then it was the last official song. Yeah, because track 18 progression is not gonna be on. You gonna have to pre order to get that song. Okay, okay, so. A lot of people not might not see that song. It's gonna hit the video. That's how it's gonna get the, the recognition for it. But mm-hmm. on on streaming services, they going they're not gonna be able to get that song. They will have to get it when the video come out. For it. Okay, okay. So that's that's different. Yeah. Right. So I had to work it a little bit different. So people, that's why the last song officially is track sixteen. Seventeen is not a song. It's just me. The credits like uh. Oh uh, yeah, shouting <laughs> out people. Yeah. yeah, I'm just shouting out people on some J Cole 2014 yeah. type shit. Okay, and then throughout the album, you have a lot of uh, like cuts of uh, fuck. What's the movie? Fucking. Let's see what he, let's see what he, let's see if his culture level. Ends. No, <laughs> let's, let, let's see if I can remember. <laughs> but you know what? Before I even fuck up, let's see if I can pull the the album up. Yeah. Let's see. I I don't even know if the 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 link maybe that you you had sent me. It uh, on this it on expire, bro. I think it's it stayed. Only only you can open it though. Let's see. Let's yeah. find out. Let me go back. So you can put, so you can do <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. That way I can pull it up. Yeah, I don't know. I feel for sure, for sure. A lot of people, and I, th- this is my best thing. I told him to. I said, if if you don't know damn near that movie, or like, and you and and you black, like, you really not my demographic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm just being I, hey. 
we yeah. talked about it in the studio. He was just like, man, it's some tar shit. And then I sent it to Earl the Monarch. Shout out Earl the Monarch. Hey, yeah, yeah. Sure, <laughs> shout out to Earl. That's my dog. He listed the album. The same time y'all listen to the album, and he's a center back. He listed the whole shit straight through. He said the same shit you did. I'm gonna just chill, drink some drinking. I'm in the studio right now, listening to this hoe at the crib. And I'm just like, he listened to it. He called me. He FaceTimed me. He's like, I don't even call niggas, bro. But you got one with this one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the, that's the kind of response you want from uh, whenever you're putting it out. Because whenever you're putting out an album or you're putting out something, it's always uh, in the back of your mind, like, fuck, what fuck, if it, I need to, Like, to, what if they ain't critiques. feeling it? Or, yeah, like, or what if they. You know, what if I put it out and, and nobody really, like, you know, gravitating towards it? And, uh, so you, you need that kind of, like, reassurance whenever you're putting something out like that you know, okay, I, I might actually I might have, got one. I yeah. might go with this bitch. Like, I follow my, my – I'm glad I follow my own. Okay. Uh, let, let, let's get into it a little bit, man. I, I finally got the setup. Let's uh let's see how it, this kind of, you know. Sample. Movie day. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's the uh, the thesis, bro. This is the way, the pro. This is why I wanted to put put this out either the day before or. I put in mad effort just to show my past errors, trials and tribulations, all the things I was facing, all the dreams I was chasing. Demons so this this is how you come in. This is how you come in, and this is how you're you're starting out the album, man. Track one, which you haven't released the track list yet. So I don't know what to call it. Coming soon. Yeah, I'll probably drop that tomorrow. Yeah, so I don't know what to call it. This is track one to me. But why don't you get behind? Like, let, let us know about this one. All right. So this song is just that underdog feeling, which is the thesis is exactly what I say. It's the whole album is in letter format. Yeah. So when I say sincerely, Tracy, I'm very. It's like a letter to every person that I mentioned in the tape, or every subject I mentioned in the tape. So for this song, this the overview or summary before the intro starts. Like okay. when you write a paper, they say, "Oh, put the thesis and then start the intro, then yeah. start the, the paragraphs." Da, da, da. This literally, that's all this is. The middle of the paragraphs, this the, just to start this thing off and show you what you're getting. Like I put in mad effort just to show my past errors, like show all y'all everything that I am as a as a rapper, like, okay. or a person. And uh, well, we we were talking about you have a lot of cuts from mm -hmm. it. I don't want to say it and get it wrong because then everybody's going to come at me <laughs> and I already know what's going to happen, but we already coming at you. yeah, you're right. <laughs> 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 I'm, just uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. like, mm, now that I'm saying, yeah. hey. all right, now I'm Boy. second guessing myself. <laughs> no. Wait, can, I, can, I, can I get a quote? It, it's Men in Society, right? He for the culture. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hey, okay. slump sessions okay. for the okay. culture. <laughs> Because I didn't, I didn't want to say it, get it wrong because I knew what was gonna happen, but you, you can't. Y oh yeah, y'all can't hear what's going on in the headphones. No, not at all. That, was it, was it key break? No, no, nah, I didn't put that in there. Uh, you, you was no, I, I was, but I couldn't <laughs> find no place for that in the album because <laughs> that's a, it's a funny part in the movie, but it just, it, it wasn't the floor. <laughs> it it would have been weird. You could have just put it at the very, very end. <laughs> very, very end, bro. I got these cheese burgers. Like what you say to me, nigga? Fuck, fuck, Yeah. Bro, I just shot the shit out that nigga. Bro, that nigga was a killer. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was a killer. Hey, like, if you got a homie like that, bro. You, like, you need somebody like, well. No. Nah, yeah, I don't know, bro. Hey, it's 50-50. Hey. 50, 50. <laughs> hey. He hey. was going too hard. <laughs> That was unnecessary. Yeah, and then he and then he go and show everybody. everybody. Like, <laughs> fuck it, we get caught on the way. We get caught if you niggas snitch on me. Yeah, <laughs> like, bro, that's stupid. You're just gonna show everybody uh, for real, dog. Top ten movies of all time. Oh yeah, I, I fuck with man. That's my that's my favorite black cinema, bro. No cap. Okay, <laughs> but why did you kind of sprinkle that throughout the album and and? Why did you put that in there? To keep it a band. As a rapper, I'm Kane. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> for real. I'm not old dog. I'm not old dog. So it's just, I'm not going out capping niggas and I'm not built like that. Yeah. I got a conscience. But I have done ignorant shit. Kane done ignorant shit in that movie. He was not, uh, he written a, uh, uh, 
how to say. I mean, he had a he, contract. He's he not something. a street nigga. He just he a hood he a hood nigga that's just in the environment. Yeah. And you gotta do certain shit. Yeah, he was and just a guy yeah, in the exactly. streets. Exactly. You just a regular hood nigga. That's he was just going with the flow. He going with, with the, the flow fuck? of life and learning shit through the process. That's what I did. When you listen to the album, I'm talking about like why I put certain scenes because that's literally what happened in my life. That that scenery in that movie, that's a depiction of to an extent what I what happened. Okay. So I, that scene when they like track four when they shooting at the end of the shit. Did you like you like somebody? Oh, I did a review, and this is for a disclaimer. I did a review on this on that song, but I only got album cut. I don't have without this stuff on it. Yeah. So I sent it in. They was like, oh, that ending is so extra. And that was so, like, I wouldn't listen to that shit. And I was just like, add me to the law. He says, well, why? Oh, so I, I explained it. I got on there. I said, man, this is an album cut. It's a difference. I was like, when the song dropped, there's going to be two different versions of the album, like an official album. It's going to have one with the cuts, one with the song. I don't have just the song like that. I got the album because I'm worried about the album. I'm not worried about the non people who not listen to it. You don't, you don't, you don't understand it because, like I said, I'm not making this for you. I get the song review so I can hit, let you judge the engineering and the lyrics. That's it. Yeah. The skits, you're not gonna understand that shit. If you, if even if I don't see how you can't, I said I can't make dumb music for dumb niggas. I was like, simple as this because one, if you listen to the song, track four, which is feel me. And you listen to the skit, the ending, you'll understand it. You'll feel me. <laughs> so it's like, it literally, I said, my heart right there where the bullets fell, my mind fell, with, a, with, the, with the bullet shells. They're literally, that's what I'm talking about. The nigga just shot a nigga because his cousin got shot. <laughs> like, so, it's, so it's like, I don't understand. Like, this is beautiful, nigga. This is beautiful, nigga. <laughs> Hey, but so I get it. I mean, you have all this throughout it. And if you hear a song by itself, you're probably not going to get why yeah. it's there. But it, if you listen to the whole body of work, it it flows. It's got purpose. It's not just there to be there. That's why when people say the 18 songs, because it has a purpose. This project made with purpose. It ain't made in a time span. This is keep it. This gives perspective. I made this and I told him too when I first came to him and said I want you to engineer this song because I know you're gonna take the time and the effort and we gonna come together and literally listen to this shit. You are gonna understand where I'm coming from, background wise. Secondly, secondly, as far as length, I made this shit so niggas understand like you don't have to fuck around and just make it chase this hit because yeah. you might not get that motherfucker. Now you got ten bad projects because you was chasing the fucking hit. When mm. you didn't have the money to promote that shit in the first place, you could have just made a dope body of work. When you got the money in the future, got now you can make a hit, and you catch one, and then they like this nigga been five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this not my goal to this not my presence to be like, oh man, this gonna be the one, bro. I don't even feel like this gonna be the one. This just gonna be my project that niggas can't undeniable. You're not gonna say, oh man, that hoe wasn't good. That's cap. What was it good about? <laughs> like, 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 tell me what this was it lacking in storyline? No. Was it lacking in bars? Fuck no. Was was it was it lacking in engineering? Hell no. Nah. So it's like, what can you say? <laughs> this, this is the. I mean, this is your jump off point to everything else that's gonna be coming afterwards. Yeah, this is just the starting point, so niggas know this is where you started at. I want this is my starting point as me as well, myself. This, <laughs> this is the the revamp of you as an artist because you were Blue Flames, and you had a lot of dope shit come out as Blue Flames, but it wasn't cohesive. No engineering. I didn't. I had engineering. Shout out to Saint. But realistically, in future, I we wasn't on the same accord. Yeah. So I don't feel like that was the route I wanted to go to, and I was following in a, in a hole, digging myself deeper into this hole to something that I'm not. Mm -hmm. Like he like you. J we just talked about off off camera. He said, oh, well, you know, some people be, don't worry about rapping. See, that's the difference. I worry about rapping. Yeah. And I worry about being a good artist. So it's, I, I'm trying to work both. If you can't, if you only going to show me one side, which that's with my other producer, it was one-sided. It yeah. was a, well, you could be a dope artist. I think you should make music like this. So you can appeal to that nigga over there. He going to help you. I don't need that nigga help if he not seeing the dream. Mm. It's that simple. 
<laughs> it, it's yeah. true. It's true. Because at the end of the day, you are you. you exactly. You ain't going. You ain't trying to be nothing. You're not. You're not gonna put out nothing that's that's not you. And and I was doing that. Yeah. <laughs> so like it was me. I'm making it. I'm writing the shit. But moving forward, like if I if I was to say if I was to like that's my vision when I made this tape. If I die tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's fake wood, nigga, but you good. Hey. <laughs> no, it's real wood. Nigga, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, if I die tomorrow, my legacy gonna be a nigga been posted. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. No, nigga. <laughs> like, hey. My kids can't listen to that shit and get nothing from that. They gonna, they, nigga, my, I, like I said, if I did pass away, my kids can listen to Sincerely Trace and be like, damn, my dad was a. A real solid nigga, bro. My my, my dad <laughs> gone through a lot of shit. A lot of shit. This nigga was no slouch out here in these streets. Whereas on um, on these other shit lists, I'm just lit. I'm just showing hey, one side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. just chilling. Like I'm just not showing no type of emotion in that shit. That shit is easy, effortly. <laughs> That's easy. Like, uh, but from from Blue Flames to Tracy, you see that you can do it all. Yeah, you, I mean, you see I, what you can do. You get both sides. What was the, like, behind uh, changing the name? Do you feel like it's, I mean, I don't feel like it's it's too much because you're you're still early in your career to where you're able to, to still find yourself. And you're, you're not trying to, you know, you're not trying to be Blue Flames. I mean, that, that was cool, but you have a lot more to offer than that. And, uh, like... Cause some people are so like established to where they they can't change their name. People know them as that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But but Blue Flames was that. Now I think you're still early enough in your career to where people aren't gonna be like, "Who's Tracy?" Like, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, all right, look. I'm, hey, this is this is the best example I can give of the explaining my name change, right? Okay. All right, so I feel like as far as being Blue Flame. If you listen to the album, and I sort of I tell my wife this too, I don't rap in my like how I'm talking to you. I don't rap like this. On Tracy, sincerely Tracy, I did. Yeah. Hella times where I use my real voice. So when I talk to my wife on track eight, letter to my lover, I'm talking to her like her, like I would talk to her at home. Mm -hmm. It was oh nine, at you know I mean at, at yeah. six, six sixteen. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like being smart, like. Like, I don't want to sit here and make people feel like I'm faking shit. I'm not faking nothing. From here from here on out, I don't care nothing about who the king, nigga, any nigga want smoke, rapping, mm. I'm getting smoke. I was like, any nigga want to sit here and say, oh, you're not a real nigga? How can you figure? You come to my crib, you come to my crib, you come to my stew sessions, I'm a goofy nigga. All through this album, I had goofy shit. Like, that nigga, <laughs> like... But Jody, <laughs> what what are we doing in the studio, bro? <laughs> what is the studio session like? <laughs> I think he, I love he told, told a point. I feel like he was doing that shit to see like if I was really gonna throw it to the streets, like he wanted to focus on the music. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to throw me off. Hey, bro, like he unmarked my shoulder. I got headphones on. He gonna say, bro, yeah. Nigga, hey, check this out. Like, <laughs> like, 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 hey, check this out. Hey, check out this dumbass shit on Instagram, man. <laughs> nah, hey, TikTok, nigga, TikTok. hey, he, he's saying that shit, bro. I'm dead ass. I got ADHD, man. <laughs> <laughs> Like he said, he, like he's probably trying to throw me out. I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do my wife the same shit in the car, bro. We could be just chilling, listen to a whole song, and I'd be watching some shit. I'm like, hey man, fuck that driver shit. What's this? Watch it. Check, 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 this. check this out though. Check this out. This shit was super funny. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is where your attention like, should be. <laughs> Why are you even driving right now? Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't need to pay attention. Like, like dead ass. Like I, I, I'm just like, oh go all the time. <laughs> But I mean, so this is this is you. This yeah, this whole album, you can't get. This is you. Yeah. Like, let me see. What's a good example of a moment on the tape where I was just like, yeah, they gonna they gonna understand, nigga. That. <laughs> 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 
Church of, oh yeah, Church of Grand is a good example. That's every artist can vibe to that song, understand where I came from on that. And which which track is that one? Number nine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is his favorite song on the fucking album, bro. I, I did not expect nobody to like this hoe like this. This is a personal record. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just so everybody can hear it. Well, y'all can't, but everybody else will be able to hear it. <laughs> y'all can. I can't hear shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> On this record, shout to Gia. Okay, okay, she okay, yeah. yeah. She did her thing. This record, yeah. When listening to it, or when making this record, I definitely this one in the record. I said I didn't go in chasing a hit, but people, a lot of people who have listened to this are drawn to this song. Yeah, but it's more of like artists and just people going through stuff. So I, I, I guess it's I like, think I think it's really relatable. Just with, even with the the hook, I mean, everybody has bad days. I mean, that's everybody does. Not everybody has good days every day, and it's a, it's relatable. So take us through the process of actually putting this whole thing together. How long did it take? How did you go for beat selection? <laughs> because I know you. Six months ago, we we did the interview. That's the start. Six months. <laughs> yes. Okay. And you were you were talking about it then. Yeah. So it's been six months you were working I had, on it. I had, I had already recorded a song with, with Ro, but I hadn't brought it to his attention that I wanted to do this till like a month after. So it's like a five month gap. That okay. We just recording and we making this, but the project itself, writing wise and just structuring songs and getting ready to, I guess, record it and bring it to somebody's attention to where they could say, "Oh, this is you bringing." Mm-hmm. Fought five years. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the whole like uh prime example song uh three talking about my homie getting shot that wrote that years ago like okay. <laughs> i and already had recorded it before and at that time so, did you have any idea that it was gonna be a project or yeah I, uh, in my, I, that's why I, I never dropped it on the platform yeah. platforms okay. i put it on soundcloud for like a day and it just didn't sit right with me <laughs> no, no, for real. Yeah, right? yeah for a it day. was a per, it was a personal thing. I put it up for like half the day, and, and you're like, nah, I think nah. it needs more than it, it deserves. It deserves no, more than that. I put it up as like a a preview kind of thing, and then I was okay. like, nah. I was like, I feel like at that period I was doing shows, so in my mind I was like, well, if I'm doing shows, every song I'm putting out, I gotta I gotta perform it. Mentally, I couldn't perform that. So in my, in my mind, I was like, "Wow, if I can't perform, I'm not putting that shit out." Yeah, you know, somebody gonna be like, "Well, why you don't do winter?" And then and at I, that, <laughs> at, I think at that point, whenever you're doing shows, you were doing different kind of music, so that would have been like thrown a in dagger. It just slow everything down. Yeah, in the middle <laughs> of a set or something, and so I mean, I think some some music takes time before it. You know, everything is in timing. M- music is always about timing and. Cause you can you can have a hit song, and put it out one time, take it down, put it up another time, and it it blows up. It's it all just, about it timing. Just scenery at the time, like yeah, that's sonically that's what's right now. Exactly. <laughs> like I, I feel like winter is one of them songs. It's so rap. Mm-hmm. There's no mo- melody to it. It's just rapping. Yeah. So it just, you, it's in the time period we in. That's not normal. So it's like well, I I started listening. I started like listening to it more and i just was like fluid and this wise i couldn't even finish the song and i feel like i couldn't get emotional with the song because of the engineer i was with at the time and it was it wasn't i wasn't comfortable like we wasn't boys or nothing like that yeah so i can't like exactly like i said i couldn't perform it like i wanted to so when yeah. i wrapped it in the studio with this dude i wrapped it and i'm just like you couldn't be as open yeah. with somebody so when i wrapped it like when i wrapped this song what you think about this song bro 
That was original. cool. Yeah. He was like, "Oh, this so this so this so cool, bro." But not knowing you, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's personal to me. Exactly. So I feel like you ain't feel that shit. So when I this nigga, we rapping, he was like, "That's like the first or second song I, I recorded," and he was like, "Yeah, we gonna stop that right there, brother. Uh, I'm gonna need you to just redo that hook shit." <laughs> that shit hard. The verse solid. I felt that, but this hook shit. You need the moment. Come back. We gonna go do this whole again. Mm. Cause realistically, I feel the type of way. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, well, I was like, but that's I was, that's the dynamic. Uh, I said, it, 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 the, the making of this so is way better. Moving forward, like I feel like I could do, record anything with this nigga. So at, at this song, feel me. Church of Granny was records I was like not comfortable performing yeah, in front yeah, of yeah. niggas. Like I was like, I don't know about these street. Like <laughs> these might not make it type shit. Yeah. And whenever you're you're going in the process of putting, you know, something so personal, I mean, it's it takes a lot out of you. Especially whenever you're having to write it down and you're having to relive all this this stuff that's going on and, you know, everything is uh I mean, like you said, it's personal. So especially whenever you're gonna be rapping it to somebody that doesn't doesn't necessarily uh, feel it how you feel it. It. Not, not even necessarily that. Just even that song right now. Just, just yeah. Like that's a that's a bad relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like that relationship will hold you forever because you still have it in you at that point. You feel me? And so like when he rapped it, I was like, I was like, all right, bro. All right, that happened. <laughs> 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 like even like with uh, it's, a, it's a records like I said didn't make it because of beat clearance or other sh- bullshit that niggas was lacking yeah. bullshit with the beats and shit like he know shit that niggas not gonna get the ear now like, <laughs> like yeah. personal shit so it's like definitely moving forward it's way different dynamic like it's way better like I don't plan on working no other engineers that's moving good forward, like you know what I'm saying like I, like niggas be like I, I work with people as far as recording but if when they come to mixing my vocals, I'm, 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 I'm and it's it's good <laughs> to get that that uh that one person that kind of understands how you record, understands your voice, and understands everything that goes behind it. Because whenever he's mixing your stuff, he already knows exactly. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean that that's perfect right there. You need somebody like that. Uh, I mean, some of the best songs are done by artists and engineers or producers that worked together. For years, and you know that's what y'all are gonna be building. But uh, whenever you're going into actually writing something like this, how was it actually having to get this stuff off your chest? Uh, or what very, was very stressful. What was the <laughs> what was the hardest song to write on here? Or a hardest song to actually like uh sit and you know kind of reminisce and try to structure it out of how you want to tell the story. Probably Winter Blues. Um, feel me wasn't that hard to r- record. I go like r- r- I need mean, yeah, to to record and write. It wasn't that bad. It's a very personal song, but it wasn't that. It was like a kind of release track. From yeah, following up. I already knew this was gonna follow Wind of Blues from way back. So I was like listening to it like, yeah, these definitely gonna be next to each other and somewhere in the album. I just didn't know where. Mm-hmm. And then as far as. Um, see what song that's like uh church of granny was easy to write that wasn't nothing the, the last part the breakdown at the end was the i didn't know what to put there i was trying to like i didn't know if i should come on that bitch aggressive but i was mm, i started like coming to more terms with myself and my own voice and shit like i wrapped mm-hmm. that hoe in this voice so it was easier when i got in the booth i didn't know how i was gonna rap that hoe. i told him straight up i was like let me let me do that whole like a couple times i don't know how i'm coming on this hoe. yeah <laughs> And I, he was just like, all right. So I'm in this whole literally for 30 minutes just up here. Uh, what, how did I come in that hole? Uh, Daddy, I've been stuck in this cycle. That's how I was coming in that hole mm. in my mind, talking to myself at home. <laughs> it was, sounded good in the head. <laughs> in my head, it sounded, I was, he was like, bro, Calm down. nah, then you can't do it in that voice, bro. And I was like, Daddy, I've been stuck in this cycle. My, and I was like, that just, just sound low. You know, I mean, like it just sound weird. It don't have no energy to it, so I had to like be more melodic and shit. Yeah, because that's not my pocket unless I'm doing shit like Zuby and shit. Mm-hmm. 
like I am feeling so zoo shit like that. That's different. Hey, like, I like that track. <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's, yeah. I fuck, that's one of my favorite songs for myself. <laughs> but it's just I don't. I didn't want that to be this. Yeah. That's why I mocked myself in a very the bonus track. Is literally progression. It was like, uh, flexing, finessing. I am flexing, finessing. I am fuck all that bullshit. I've been <laughs> progressing. Like, uh, nigga, I got better, nigga. Like, yeah. this shit is trash compared to what I can do. Yeah, this is some mid shit, bro. Like, and niggas be loving that shit. That's how I was like, damn, like, that's crazy. Like, niggas be really thinking that. That's why. And 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 six, I say in pain, I say, oh, well, uh, why I feel my recognition on the low side, like. And why I feel like my niggas rather than them on some fuck shit. So I pull up on them at the function. Like, nigga, slap this in, bitch. This shit hard. Like, I can do the same shit your favorite rapper doing. Yeah. And make some substance within that hoe. Whereas niggas just be like, I got a chain. I got a watch. I got a ring. Like, nigga, I'm not flexing like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no watches. I ain't got no chains. Or, like, but, n- like nigga, like. <laughs> but I could, I could make the same vibe. I could say the same vibe and some shit you gonna relate to. Yeah. And talk about your story, my story, that nigga story over there, a regular common nigga. Yeah. And still hit you the same vibe. But you niggas won't listen. So I said, I'm gonna take them niggas out. That's my mission. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so it's like, that, that's how it, I don't I have no other explanation for that shit no more like niggas be like oh well you 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 don't like these niggas or you hate on them it's not hate it's just i feel like niggas could be better i feel like music used to be better yeah and that's what they say oh the 90s was going there them niggas was talking about dumb shit too don't get fucked up we, we still had dougie fresh and them niggas <laughs> talking about hey in every area look, it's tough uh, though it's just we always had niggas talking about nothing. And yeah, like, in every like, era, there's always but they somebody. They make it seem like us. We just trash as fuck. That's why I say it's a bunch of niggas who can rap and make good music and good records. That's timeless, niggas. Some of the records gonna sound dated as fuck in the future. <laughs> it, <laughs> like <laughs> that, that, that's what it is. I mean, music. Some music is is timeless, and whenever I think, like you said, there's always somebody. <laughs> Who is making bad music? <laughs> and, and they hot. Yes. So you can't, as I said, I'm not aiming at every nigga who just make it on. Nigga, feed your family. Never gonna hate on you for that. Get your bread. But nigga, don't say I'm the best nigga. If you not gonna back that up, that's my only critique. <laughs> I was talking, to, I was talking uh, to an artist the other day, and we were talking about music as being. He was he was talking about how how competitive you. Yeah. And he's like. Even whenever I'm doing a song with somebody, I'm still competing with them. Like it's it's all it's all love, <laughs> but it's what it is. It's a competition. And like it, I mean, and in our city, that's a problem. Ooh, <laughs> because when we get on songs together, we we did a song together. We got uh, that's gonna be coming soon too. This nigga, well, this now we gonna come back to what he said earlier. <laughs> he said he said no he said no he said. Oh, that nigga, I got on a song with that nigga. He didn't drop it. No, what happened was exactly what I just said. Niggas didn't come through with their verse. Mm-hmm. I had my verse already ready. This nigga already sent me his shit, which that hoe was hard. Hmm. Nigga, made, nigga made me go back and really go, nope. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me switch this line out real quick. <laughs> like, and she, she know, she heard this nigga verse, and I said, you ain't that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. I said, hey, I'm in, I'm in the lab. I gotta, cause at first I don't leave my original verse. I said, I was just sliding on that hoe. I wasn't rapping hard. Yeah. Cause I was on that, like I said, trying to please other niggas. I was at 18 with a dream and a dollar. Uh, cream and that guala. Uh, cream and that. Like, I was just like sliding on that. I wasn't uh, snapping on that bitch like I could. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, cause niggas don't wanna hear that sometimes. So I was like, I'm not gonna make this tape about just lyrical exhibitions all the time. Like, I was like, so I'ma just slide on this hoe. And the, eight, the hook was simple as fuck. It was made for show set. 18 with a dream and dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18 with a dream and eight. Just so niggas can catch on. So yeah. So my shows where people be, you know, kind of dumbed down a little bit, they can just gravitate to that and sing along. Well, I don't want to have no complicated ass hook where niggas be like, like that, like our song for uh, uh, voicemail number one. Niggas not singing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. That whole so long, I'm rap. That's, nigga, that's that's good as some niggas eights verses. Mm. So that, that's a hook though. So it's like, <laughs> so, so like so I was like, and he, and he ate that shit. I ain't gonna. He ate me on that song. Yeah, I'm gonna have to listen to it. <laughs> Man, cut the cap. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga said he 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 chilling. 
nigga out here, nigga, he he like uh Andre three thousand. Mm. He in retirement, but niggas say to hop a feature. Nigga, nigga, putting niggas in, in caskets and body bags all all summer. <laughs> Fuck is he talking about? He told me straight. He told me straight off rip. I said, "Hey, nigga, hop on this song for me." He was like, "Okay, nigga, think he's slick, bro. He don't never record with me in the studio with him." He will yeah. <laughs> He never, does it by himself. Ever. Never ever. He'll send me. Hey, I'm gonna send it. To, I'm gonna send it in, bro. All right, bet. Send me the verse back. I saw it, first thing I did. I showed it to my wife. I said, "Nigga, I ate this hoe." I <laughs> then I was like, I told my brother. I said, "Man, hey." I said, "I played the whole lot." I said, "I let a nigga listen to the whole all the way through." Nigga, listen. To he said, <laughs> "This nigga, who is that?" I said, that, that, "Jody." Nigga, tough. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't, he, he said. That's what you've been looking for. Thank you. Niggas who gonna compete and rap on a song. If I ask you for a, a feature, I say, Quest, man, hop on this song with me. I don't want you to get on the motherfucking song and say, hey, yeah, I've been out here just chilling. Hey, I don't want you to come freestyle on my shit. I asked you for a reason to rap on this song. Like, yeah. Even if you're not rapping, I don't give a fuck what you're doing. Give me your best effort. Yeah, no matter what the, <laughs> like, no matter what the style that you're coming, you're asking that artist yeah. because... You you like what they do? At least put some kind of effort into it, like, and don't give me some bullshit. I want to second guess myself when I hear your verse come back. Mm. That's facts. Like, if I like, that's why I feel like Big Sean was not mad at Control, because for a simple fact, people started saying he was he should have been mad about that. For what? You won the hottest record. That that record was still going. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Did it die? The whole the whole thing? No, just the, just the screen. Just the screen. Okay, well then I guess just is it still record? Yeah. Oh. I said that because I was like, ooh, good job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but like with that shit, with that verse, I mean, nigga, you can't be you mad because he's name dropping, but he didn't even diss nobody. That's not a diss. He just he told if you didn't, you more of a diss if you didn't hear your name in that motherfucker. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Like a nigga like yeah. Papoose responded, nigga for what? <laughs> You're not relevant to them niggas that he just named. You're not Mac Miller, Dre, none of them niggas. You're not none of those niggas. So it's like, I understand what that nigga was mad. He didn't get mentioned in the top lyricists that he was naming. <laughs> but nigga, that's for like, it's Sean, why would I be mad? I'm like, that nigga think I'm goaded up. Hey. Think I'm nice. He's I'm, 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 I must be doing something, right? I know. I'm, I, nigga, he, I'm not, I understand why he, people saying he should be mad, but I wouldn't be mad about that. I'm, like, <laughs> like, the only way Sean would have been mad Kendrick would have said that shit and then not mentioned him at all. Like exactly. how you like exactly. if if if, exactly. if Kendrick would have like just like okay, I'm not even gonna mention Sean. Like right. that's the up and like he didn't he he said he said um what was the nigga on the end? I can't I can't uh J Electro yeah did he said J Electro he said him too. Yeah. I just imagine he wouldn't have said either one of them niggas. They would have been hot. They would have been like oh, you don't consider me a, a hot. hot nigga. <laughs> hot and that whole drop like a leak. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> disrespect. That's that's why I said what, the dynamic. That's why I said with us the dynamic is good because. We competing, but at the I'm same like, time, like Kendrick said earlier, man, he's like, I don't, I don't be beat. Like I was like that for the longest. Like I, I like if I felt like I got to a certain level, like I rapped for my homies, and then I felt like, like I surpassed them as a, a lyricist. And yeah, we still rap together, so it was like now it's like I, I pick and choose with who, you know, what I'm saying who can hop on the song with me. But if you hop on the song with me, I'm not fucking with it. You do your thing. Like you, mm. you do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you. I saw these features too, bro. I mean, for me, like I said, moving forward, the dynamic always gonna be solid because he ain't let me put out no bullshit, and I'm expecting it to be cold. So I'm not expecting it to be like, man, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you make it. That means you think I'm ass. <laughs> 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 if you, if you, if you, if you dumbing yourself down, I'm never gonna dump shit down. Even with the, the voicemail song, I came on that hoe, popping my shit. I said in my alley, let me pop my shit. <laughs> hey, my shit in the back. Literally, nigga, like I want to talk shit. Like I'm on this hoe for sport. Like I love rapping. Like yeah. I love music. I don't even gotta be a rap. I write for singers. I just like music, nigga. Like niggas not about to. This is this is sport and passion for me, nigga. Yeah. Like, that's why I said when I see other niggas just co roller coasting, ghost riding this bitch, I'm I'm upset, nigga. <laughs> that's just, that's, nigga, it just what it is. Yeah. Like, I mean, you you take it seriously. So whenever you see somebody not taking it seriously, how you think they should be, it's like, oh, like, kind of. It, it, 
I mean, it is what it is. That's like, why I don't give features to niggas. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I feel like it's a part time thing for you, why the hell am I going to give my full time effort to you? Yeah. Like, niggas be asking, niggas say, can I get a feature? But I'm about, while, while I was in the process of making an album, I told niggas straight off, I'm not doing features right now. Even my partner. Shout out to my nigga Legacy. I told that nigga straight off, I'm not doing a feature for you until my album drop. Yeah. It was that simple. Like, I told him, tell my nigga Ego. Nigga, I done had uh, I said I said I was gonna do a features tape. I said that's cap. I'll cap. I'll, I'll give y'all that one. I said I'm not doing that no more because I feel like I don't want niggas' perception of me to be these songs if y'all come with mid ass verses. Yeah. From Young Pony Jones one, I learned my lesson on that. Mm. N- niggas gave me some s- subpar ass verses. They're so like, I oh, like, I got, so I gotta knock this verse out real quick. Let so me just. I was like, so I was like, eh? let me just do it real quick, yeah, and then I was like, eh? I'm cool. I'm, I'm just not gonna work with niggas. If not somebody's not gonna give the same effort that you're putting into it, you feel like you just, you, you don't, you don't want to be in that. Yeah, like, even like, like with, with the process of making this album, nigga, I didn't do no features on this album. Mm-hmm. I, um, even the niggas who own it, you hear your voices, you hear they're not featured. Mm-hmm. That's background vocals, nigga. You're a, uh, a, a, just a nigga in the choir in the back. <laughs> like, like I, I was like, and I, I had to tell niggas before, like, before, I, before I even made the album. I said, "Man, look, I want your voice on this because you dope as an artist. I yeah. respect your craft, but you're not gonna get a feature. Like this is not a feature. I wrote everything, mm-hmm. so anything you saying, I wrote it. I don't feel like it should be credited in the first place. So yeah. like, it's just a, you, just a background vocal. I'm singing on the hook for that exact reason, so you know you backing me up." Mm. Every there's nothing on here without me on it, for that reason. So it's a backup. Hey. Facts. He been on uh, sliding on people's shit. Yeah. So y'all y'all heard? Was it, was it bent something something? I, I don't know what the fuck. Kendrick dropped something. With, it was a leak. Bro, when I say it was featuring Kendrick, all, all that nigga did say on that bitch was like, yeah, something like he, he did like a bullshit ass two verse. But the dude ate the fucking. I was like, this nigga said something about if I fucking yo if I fuck your bitch, it's on TV now, boy. I was like, what the fuck, nigga? How you fuck my? Yeah, was like this shit, nigga was nigga was like like bro, no, if my sex tape leak, now your bitch is on TV there, boy. I was like, that's a bar, like, and I mean that's that's a bar right there. That's a but yeah. Anyways, continue. <laughs> I like this. I like this swinging mic. It's fire, it's fire, it's fire, yeah. I like it. I'm, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Hey, I'm feeling this whole new little setup here. I'm taking that button away. I'm 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 switching that. I'm switching the sound. We we're gonna we're gonna hit him hey. with this one. Hey. Oh, there's a crack. Hey. Hey, no, you know no, I didn't. You know. <laughs> Yeah, it's just random sounds. Hey, you know, you know who this? You, I feel like I'm on the JPP, the Joe Budden podcast, nigga. Hey, that's how. <laughs> that's how. That's how, how we're trying to feel. Hey, y'all can take them niggas over. They just they just separated. You just Rory and Maul. What's up, you I just I just told her that on the way here. <laughs> hey, yo, shout out to Rory and Maul. If y'all need a new platform to come to, I'm just saying. Hey, on God. I, on God. Hey. <laughs> that's what I. That, that's what I wanted. Uh, whenever I was kind of setting this up, you know. Yeah, I, I'm not. I don't. I you, didn't uh, want you parks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I finally saw his face for like the first. I, I, I seen that he, nigga. He like a, a big white dude. Yeah, I thought, <laughs> I thought he was an imaginary friend. I, I, to be honest, I thought he was Rory, but like they sound so alike. Yeah, I did too. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I thought he was Rory. Yeah. See, because I, whenever I was doing this, I didn't want to do the the same sit right across from you anymore. I d- I've done that for three years, yeah. where we sit right across from each other. We're talking. I did that for three years. I want something where I'm, you know, just being able to chill. Yeah, that's that's what we want to do. Yeah. All right, so I got, a, all right, I got, a, I got a question for my boy. Okay. All right. During this making this album, bro, what was the most, what was my most uh, annoying moment in making this album? Or, or, or can you come up with like a top five? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I know I probably. He's like, I, I let, told, let me I pull my, out my I, notes real I quick. I even told my wife before I said, man, this nigga probably be looking at the phone like, bitch. <laughs> he already gave us one earlier. With the, with, yeah, he already gave us one. So, so, so yeah, with the essays. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell dudes he do his take on like some ad libs, and I'm like, bro, run it like this. And then the bitch the exact same way you just did. Like, bro, it's gonna rhyme. Trust me. Trust 
<laughs> you gotta trust the engineer sometimes. But look, I even texted him one time. I said, I said, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I had to, I had to learn to trust you, bro, because you know, yeah. past engineers they be bullshitting, nigga. <laughs> Not even on some like, on some like, I think he bullshitting. It's just in my mind, I gotta, I gotta cover all bases. Yeah. I mean, so. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna stop going there. You know what I'm saying? So I, like, I'm like quality is everything to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I, if I, I don't want that next person to feel like you know, like oh, well, he gives me more just cause he got more money. I don't give a fuck about the money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, you want to make some money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like at the end of the day, it's like I have a love for this music. You, know you want to put out good quality shit. Yeah, and th- that 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 goes back to I mean even you put out good quality shit that's gonna come back on your name like pe- right. pe- people associate you with quality. If you just putting out bullshit, people are gonna associate your name with bullshit. Yeah. Like I'm telling people all the time, I already feel like every client that comes through off the top, like, hey, bro, I'll send it to you, like it's just a slight nick. They're like, Oh man, this whole go hard. I'm like, bro, I'm not even done. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to get a reference of what yeah. you know, the direction we're going in. No, yeah. no bullshit. This nigga he he know me. he had send me some shit I've known. That whole cool, that whole cool. And then I text the nigga like some days later. We about to go to our next session, he like I be like, hey man, so when the when the when the updated mix gonna come? Mm-hmm. And he be like, oh, I got you, bro. I'm working on that right now. <laughs> nah, <laughs> hell nah. It, it just got it got like uh, nah, it really life just got in the way, bro. Like, Watching too, yeah, yeah, man. I'm working look, on it right now. Look, 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 look. <laughs> and look, what that, what happened? I was like, okay, then they go into the personal shit. I wouldn't even bug him, bro, about music no more. I was just like, all right, bro, we good. I, we, I did my part. I, I was like, but at the same time, you know, I can't say I did my part because I'd be like, I'd be looking at the screen during this engineering process. So I'd be like, what that nigga got going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll be trying to, like, look, bro, on my bird, man. I'll be, hey, Playboy, <laughs> what you got going on over there? <laughs> all the songs, you know? Like, yeah. I'll be like, <laughs> And he'd be like, all right, I'm going to mix that hoe later. Nigga girl going to smoke a square. And I'm like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so then I said, that's when the essays come out. All right, so bro. <laughs> At one minute and 52 seconds, You're over here I like, need you to motherfucking right, right. make my, my my breath go away. <laughs> but bring that motherfucker back on it. Yeah, nigga, like, nigga. He, then he said it to me. Yeah, just like that, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, tough. Yeah. He, he ain't even do nothing to you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, he like, exactly what I wanted. I'll be like, little, little shit, bro. Like, little ass shit. I'll be like, okay, yeah, man. Can you add this? Like, nigga, no. Like, this how you know. I'm an extra ass nigga, bro. I literally texted this nigga yesterday about something that, like, little, little knick knack ass shit. <laughs> what the hell? Like, and I ain't text you. I had my wife text me before. <laughs> <I'm talking> about- <laughs> He like, I'm just trying to go to the interview, <laughs> nigga. Damn. Like, <laughs> 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 like, last three tracks, man. Uh, up the vocals on this. You feel me? Um, you know, turn down the reverb a little bit right here. And on this one, turn up overall. You know what I mean? <laughs> he like, okay, cool. He said, bet that. <laughs> <laughs> this long ass shit I just no. said. <laughs> no, dude. Yo, that's the one thing I can say I hate about engineering, bro. Like, the importance of just, just the, the, the paragraph. Like, yeah, the paragraph. And then, like, all, all I'm going to say back is bet that. Like, I don't know. I'm a I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Nah, I, I don't sure about that. As long as my nigga say, okay, he could have yeah. sent this motherfucker. I'd have been, all right, that nigga got it. He, 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 <laughs> got it. he, he, he ran my shit. He ran my shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, hey, I'm an I'm a, I'm a extra. Uh, he said, he said, man, I, you a, you definitely uh be on trying to be a perfectionist type shit. I said. Nah, this nigga just wants to overthink his shit. Like, facts, facts. Bro. I definitely do. Damn. I see. I said, that's why I just need to drop that hoe. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, I, I definitely, long as I'm sitting with this, I'm just like, yeah. Because it's yeah, already done. Yeah. 
Now you're just thinking about just, it. The last thing I told him, I was like, because I listened to this whole, see, for him, he he work with other clients and shit. Yeah. This my baby right here, nigga. <laughs> so I don't listen. To, I was like, I don't listen to nobody else like that. Like I listen to new shit when it come out, just to you know hear it. But when it comes to like listen to myself, I listen to myself like ninety percent of the time, like mm. dead ass. So I'm like listen to myself like at this project at least. I don't listen to my old shit no more. Yeah, I don't even want to be influenced by that, or even step back to that. I'm off that shit. So I, that's how I think about it. When I make this album, I can listen to my older shit. Yeah. I just say, oh, well, fuck that shit. Like, I got, I got to focus on this shit. Cause I don't even want to steal cadences, flows, nothing. Like, hey. I want to be different than what I was. Yeah. So I, I didn't listen to progressing that shit. and and growing as an artist. I, I, mean, I said I mimicked one flow, jokingly. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, other than that, I'm not copying that shit. Like, I didn't ch- use my voice changes. I usually do. I usually like none of that shit. I don't like. I, yeah. I used, to, I, used to be like, I used to, I used to, I used to, I used to rap like hey, that high pitch. <laughs> I, I used to, I used to rap like in a in a higher pitched voice because I feel like my deeper voice wasn't marketable and Rod say that because I listen to Tory Lane and I'm gonna be honest I fuck with that but a lot of niggas wasn't fucking with that that's why Tory Lane didn't take off with rapping yeah he had to change his voice to sing high which makes sense I mean it's more marketable niggas like that shit same with Drake Drake don't fucking talk no fucking yeah <laughs> like, he don't, he don't rap like, he don't talk like that he talk. Yeah, you know, I'm just really just chilling. You know, it's Aubrey. You know, <laughs> hey, that's hands down the best track ever, nigga. <laughs> he don't, he don't rap like that. Like, so it's like, it, I had to make it personal. I had to yeah. feel like I'm talking to my my songs. Talk to my grandparents. I'm talking like I'm gonna talk to my granny, bro. I like that, like the Paradise song. I was talking to the whole like, I think the times we couldn't manage. My grand control the damage. I'm talking like I talked to them. Yeah, I'm not gonna be sitting here like even at the end like I, like, I used to be at the end of the songs like, is she no? I change over all the time. I be, I used to be like not embarrassed but like kind of like on some shit like, I'm kind of like nervous if I recorded for that niggas. I change my voice to you, but I want the niggas to be like, why the fuck that nigga sound yeah. like that, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who is that, nigga? That, you don't talk like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Zuby, nigga, like lit dead ass nigga. I was up in the hell. Uh, uh, like what's the what's the a small part of my nigga? Let's get wavy. Like the ocean, my nigga. Let's get Zuby. Like I literally changed my whole octave yeah. of voice and everything. That ain't how I would fucking talk. But it's like, <laughs> but for that time, you know, you yeah, t- it I, had to, I had to like transition, like yeah. be realistic. Like nigga, let me give these niggas the real. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, so I mean. Everything is pretty much changing. The way you you're coming to you know on the songs, every your whole writing is is changing. Everything is just switching over and just being you now. Oh, for sure. Like even with like I, I guess like after making this tape, my my conscious clear and my mindset clear and free of thinking. That's why I said I'm gonna do the three pack. That's coming soon before the album. With and I'm gonna have this nigga on lemon pepper. Hey, I'm working. Yes. I'm working. Yeah, Never stop. <laughs> nah, it's it's three. That nigga cap. <laughs> we we not doing no more lengthy projects. It's all cohesion. Like, even the shit I got, we we got a duo shit coming, and that shit is literally nine songs. So nigga, stop it. <laughs> I haven't heard anything from you, so I'm really curious now to 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 hear your your music. <laughs> oh. He's been he's been holding that restroom. No key, no key, nigga. We can get we get them niggas a motherfucker pre that motherfucker voice, man. What you talking about? <laughs> nigga. Hey. I airdrop that hotel, bro. <laughs> or, or or you could you could plug in. I I don't got a jack though. Is it hooked to the Oh, it's like that. Okay, cool. Bet. I bet you had now see I don't have that. Oh, well then <laughs> take that. There you go. I was like, yeah, I, only, take I, only that. See, I only saw this. I oh, okay, like, okay. I can't do nothing with that, bro, bro. <laughs> We we yeah we we ain't no androids over here. Hey, shout out to all my Android lovers. That nigga don't 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 let that nigga, <laughs> don't let that nigga deter you from listening to the album, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's hear it. Let's hear something. What are so what what are you about to play? Uh, voicemail. voicemail. Okay, okay. Voicemail number one because we're gonna have more than one. Oh. Yeah, this this is uh, all right. <laughs> So see, I, he don't know, cause 
if I tell him now, he gonna be up here talking about I'm a not a rapper fam. <laughs> See, I gotta catch him on the project. Hey, this is what I got. <laughs> <laughs> This is voicemail featuring my nigga Jotty. Voicemail number one, though. <laughs> There's gonna be multiple. This shawty like sea breeze. Just show shawty be here. Yeah, pick up the phone. Yeah, call up a John. Call up a call. This what you want. This what you want. I just want my baby. Yeah. yeah. Jamming, y'all jamming here. Yeah, I, I, I need, 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 I yeah, give me five minutes, maybe two waters. It's big Tracy, Shawty, who harder? Yeah. Big Tracy. See? See, that's yeah. what I was talking about. This is what we talking about. Big Tracy, Shawty, who harder? Yeah, Shawty, who harder? Number two, call it like, yeah. This yeah, Shawty like sea breeze. Just show Shawty be here. Yeah, pick up the phone. Yeah, call up a John. Call up a what? This what you want. This what you want. I just want my baby. Ah. Uh. <laughs> He ain't a rapper though. I'm the kid that hope up let the Chevy she in. Last breakdown. The last breakdown is crazy. Well, that's 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 I said lost count, but you coming again. Like I'm the kid that hope up let the Chevy she in. But now that all night that we going again. Deep stroking that pussy, releasing my sin. She said, Johnny gets yours when I'm in the mix and I. This shawty like sea breeze. This show shawty be here. Okay, okay. Cap is fucked. You came on my song with that shit. I'll be mad as fuck, bro. This nigga. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Look, that. That line alone. Yeah. With the, with the pussy <laughs> <and> the <laughs> And you said you ain't a rapper though. Nigga, nigga, line. I said, I, I told bro, I said, he said, man, you, you, you did your thing. I said, bro, let's cut the cap. I said, look. I set the tone and the vibe. Mm. The hook, the, 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 I was like, nigga, you definitely out rapped on this song. <laughs> your, your verse is definitely better than mine. I'm definitely gonna say that. 